So looking at the backhand of Gilles Simon here, I wanted to highlight the fact that he drops the racket head down immediately. And there are some pros and some cons to this. On grass, the pros are that the ball slides and skids through lower, so it makes it a little bit easier for him to manage those types of balls. But the big con is that he doesn't generate enough racket head speed. You're gonna see most of the great backhands, they're gonna keep the racket head above the wrist. So as they take the racket back, their racket head's gonna be above the wrist and in their unit turn, they maintain that. And what you see with Gilles Simon is that racket head dips. So he loses the ability to drop in and create a lot of racket head speed, also the ability to hit a slice. And we're gonna have a look at the next backhand, which is gonna be Sebastian Cordes as a comparison. So when you look at Sebastian Cordes backhand, you notice that the setup is very clean. The racket head doesn't change from the ready position to the unit turn. The racket head stays above the wrist and it's real important for him to maintain that racket head angle so that he can use it to drop in and create some racket head speed for spin or pace. But it also allows him that added bonus to be able to disguise and hit the slice if he chooses to. He just would need to slide that left hand up and change to a slice. But I recommend that if you have a two-handed backhand that you make sure that in that unit turn you keep the racket head above your wrist.